Well, we're focusing on all this student talent. We do well to remember that we have some great faculty here at AMS. In the pantheon of AMS faculty, we have Phil Grappuso and his mighty piano. We have Luba and her trusty Steve, the neutrophil. Trusty Steve, the neutrophil. There you are. But there's perhaps none more storied than Edward Stopa and his knowledge of astrology. So what we wanted to do was compare him to one of the great titans of this field, Neil deGrasse Tyson. In this next segment, we're going to take real quotes that Edward Stope has said in class. <laughs> and we're going to take Neil deGrasse Tyson quotes. And we're going to ask you, the audience, who you think said what. <laughs> All right? So let's get it going. First, if you removed all the arteries, veins, and capillaries from a person's body and tied them end to end, the person will die. We... Can, I get a, can, I get a, can I get a hand up? Ashish, who do you think said it? I love the inflection. Unfortunately, Neil deGrasse Tyson. But I like the effort. I think they know this one. You guys want to think about it for a second, though? I hear Stopa. Verdict is. Stopa. Stopa. All right, think about dinosaurs. During the great asteroid that hit the Earth and life changed irreversibly forever, if you were a dinosaur in the ocean, you found yourself on a big 10-mile high tidal wave. If you were a dinosaur on land, you were basically vaporized by the blast itself. <laughs> Stopa, I hear Stopa. Any, any Neil deGrasse Tyson folks out there? Yes? Mary says Tyson. Mary, you say Tyson? Mary, I thought you went to class. Anybody want to change your answer after the Mary verdict? That was Stopa. That too was Stopa. <laughs> yes, it's Stopa. All right, that was an easy one. You got to throw an easy one in there. Okay. In five billion years, the sun will expand and engulf our orbit as a charred ember that was once Earth vaporizes. Have a nice day. Who says Sopa? Put your hands up, loud and proud, loud and proud. You're all wrong, you'll fail. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tyson. Yeah. You'll notice they both use the word vaporize rather frequently. In the gridiron, we're a timeline with the Big Bang at one goal, then cavemen to now, to now span? Who now, who now span to, all right, is it Sopa or Tyson? <laughs> Tyson. It's Tyson. Interesting note, he does a lot of tweets, and so that's why the grammar's a little weird. You only get 140 uh, characters. So. <laughs> Stopa. <laughs> this is a globular cluster. After the Big Bang, the whole universe was made of just hydrogen and helium, and eventually the hydrogen and helium condensed into these balls of stars called globular clusters. Any thoughts? What was that? Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Also Stopa. You see, we're very into interdisciplinary study here at AMS. Hey. Someone back there is cheating. That's Stopa too. Stopa takes a lot of Lunesta. Can't sleep a lot. If you're hearing the Stopa, I didn't mean that. This is our last one. On Friday the 13th, April 2029, an asteroid large enough to fill the Rose Bowl, etc. We did not name this asteroid Bambi. Instead, we named it Apophis, after the Egyptian god of darkness and death. 
。这不是蔡奇。Tyson, you said Tyson. You're right. It was Tyson. This is why your averages are so high. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's on step. Study up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for participating. All right. And now on to.